Greetings, Souls Wind here, and welcome to Let's Play Cooking Simulator. Five star bonus video for one more dish. Corn chowder. Let's do a five star for this. Also, on top of this one. Um, bacon can now be found in the shop. A scallop can now be found in the shop. There's a lot more things. So let's take a look at this. These cuttings are the same. Um, chicken broth and everything. These all look the same. The only part different is after adding the sour cream, we're going to add to the pot bacon and we're going to add to the pot scallop. So I hope I don't have to cut them, but I'm thinking probably we'll have to cut the bacon. We'll see how things go. I certainly hope it's not too bad. We've got quite a few um, level 2 dishes still waiting and that might become a problem. Who knows? I'll see you in the prep phase. So we need to cut the potatoes. We're gonna find um, things to cut. So we need to cut potato into 25 grams. We need to cut onions into 20 grams. Just need to show the method of cutting. And uh, I think we still have quite a lot of um, 60 grams. So let's start with um, carrots. Again, if you have seen the other corn chowder episode, um, this is exactly the same thing. So the good thing about these um, lengthier ingredients is that we get to cut them in this manner and secure quite a lot of good cuts actually. Because somewhere, somehow, it's going to be the right size. So 70 grams and we want 15 grams. So 15 times 5 is 75, which means one of the pieces will be wrong. Or 15 times 6, mm, nah, 15 times 5, so 5 pieces of it. So we need 4 cuts. 4 cuts. Let's see. Oh, the size don't really matter though, so be very careful. Chances are that I'm I'm already messing things up. Twenty one is negotiable. Oh, all of these twenty eights can be worked on again. To hopefully get something better. 19 is negotiable. 18 is a little too much of a difference. What are the chances of not getting... Oh wait, hang on. I don't want... Oh my goodness. I don't want 20. What am I thinking? I want 15s, for goodness sake. 16 and 14. 14. Yeah, we got quite a few 15s along this stretch. 15, we got 3 already. There's a 16. There's another 15. So 15 times 4, that is 60. We need 10 grams more to make it 140. No, actually, no, it's 140. So 140 will, 140 will need quite a bit more. We better have more 15s though. Otherwise, um, we'll be penalized quite heavily for it. Okay, we're going to accept a 16. And the rest not yet. 
Thankfully, thankfully, the duck consomme is not too difficult to prepare. It's not too difficult to prepare. Otherwise, it'll be worse. We do have quite a bit of cuts here. So I've shown how to cut. Uh, we're just going to pick some out from here. Let's see. Got 16s and 12s and 14s and... Nah, we have a lot of 16s and 14s anyway. So let's go get a few more carrots. Probably enough, I hope. Okay, those were tomatoes over there. Cool. Place them as neat as possible because that will eventually help us. If they are too far apart, then it doesn't make sense anymore. Because some of them will then be cut in ways that are too short, some too long. So we want to put them in generally as neat a fashion as possible. Give that one a bit more. Okay. Oh my goodness, please tell me I've got more 15s. So the top one is 16. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hey, you know what? Previously, this huge thick piece of carrot would have given us like some ridiculous small numbers but now it's been changed because if they keep on changing then i have to i have to make sure that everything stays properly and it wouldn't be easy 137 If I if I remove a sixteen, it will be one three six. Remove another few sixteen. So one two three. I have three sixteens. So that will give me three. So one three four. I need a six grams. Fine. One three seven is a good number. You know what? I'm gonna add a 16 in and remove one of the 14. 138. Add another 16 in. And I believe there's one more 14 I can remove. Is there? No. So 139. Oh, interesting. 14 to 16 plus 2. Good enough. Throw the rest away. You see, that's already quite a bit of time wasted, just like that. You know, how beautiful. Time wasted, just like that. So, for the potatoes, we need 25 grams each. I made grave mistakes there. Fine. Ah, uh, even worse. Even worse. I'm not gonna bother. Just gonna throw these away and try again. And I thought I was happy to see a 21. Ha ha ha. It says... 300 grams is actually two potatoes of 150 each. Sometimes I forget. So, it is a cut down the middle and um, two cuts. I think, yeah. So in total, six pieces. Uh, that's more like it. Although I don't like checking it first. 
Because if you check it first, chances are that you'll not really get what you want. But if you focus on cutting... Um, that one I'm just checking to make sure it's cut. I'm not looking at the... Um, the weight of each cut. I'm just looking to make sure they're cut properly. Actually, I shouldn't even bother to check. Because it's just gonna cause disappointment. Just keep on cutting. And then we can pick out the pieces later. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. 28, 29, 23, 22, 24, 24, 28, 33, 16, 24, 28, 21. We've got three 24s right now, but no 25s so far. Finally, we've got one. I think I already saw this just now. The 30 pluses are a huge disgrace and disappointment. Seriously. They're a huge disgrace and disappointment. So I've shown how to cut the potatoes. I'm gonna pick up some of them if I still do not get the right cuts over here, okay? I'm gonna pick up some of them that I've already prepared because, yeah, this is the right way to cut the potatoes already and now it's just about whether you get the size correct or not. So if you don't... Oh, did I... Leave those there? Probably did. Please don't tell me time is up. Yeah, the middle cuts are gonna be really, really bad. Now those are better. The sizes look better. One cut over there. Leave a bit more at the end. And uh, let's see. 25. Are you kidding me with the 30 pluses? Seriously? And again, the plate being placed there instead of taking things up. That is still a commodity that's happening all the time. That's still a commonplace, not commodity. Well, sure, commodity, why not? We need 300 grams, that's only half. Can you see that? It's only half. Now, whether we can do something to salvage the 30 pluses depends. I'm not keeping hopes high. I'm not keeping my hopes high. No, that's one failure. Straight off the bat. That's one failure. Look, doesn't even allow you to cut. The second cut was the one that mattered. 37, I believe 37 should give me something. Sure, sure, mess up some more, why not? Looks like I just wasted time. Sure, throw them away. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick some from before. Oh, we, we kept some of the 23s, huh? Okay. Not nice. We might really have to redo. We might really have to redo some of the cuts, actually. So we're gonna accept one twenty-three, okay? Just one. There's quite a lot of twenty-fours in here. Decent number of twenty-fives. Uh oh, and we lost some fame. I'll meet you back here tomorrow for more preparation work. See you in a while. Okay. Let's uh, continue. Let's ignore what they're telling us because it really doesn't matter at all. We need to cut our potatoes quickly. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's uh, get some more potatoes. It's really, really unfortunate that the potatoes are not able to help us much. And I think I already see something wrong with the onion because apparently our knife um, glitched through the pot. Or am I mistaken? I think I do see some problems with that. Yeah. So the knife glitched through the pot and cut the potatoes inside. Or the onions inside. Yeah. Only happens in a game. Cut. Let's be fast about this. Don't bother about it dropping. Keep on cutting. And now I think it's too far in front. Okay. This one. Just gonna do the cut this way. Because why not? Let me guess. So far, only one twenty five grams. If we do the cut correctly, we should get six twenty five grams from one potato. The fact that we're going to get only two or three from seven or eight potatoes shows how bad some of these cutting things really are. Now we need the total. We need 300 over there. Let's see what are these. Don't bother. Insignificant ones over there. Wait, what was this? 29. 24. If we have enough, we're gonna replace some of the 23s with the 24. Or 26, why not? Twenty seven, so this is the twenty four. Uh, not good. We don't have any more 23s in there. Maybe I can replace the 24. Okay, fine. So 27 only. No more 25s. So we want to replace one of the 24s with a 27 because then that would give us 300 which is perfect we're gonna throw the rest away because why not or maybe we just um, back it up somewhere don't think we'll need it though thanks to time travel never mind 
just be careful with it and uh, have some spares. Now, next is to throw these away because they really don't matter at all. Cannot be used. Spares, we have plenty. Now, these onions, let's see how we're gonna do with them. Let's see how well we'll do with the onion cuts. We gotta spread them out once again. Sure. Feels proper now. And this is the one that has been chipped so yeah uh, we need 20 grams so in the middle that'll be 60 so we need three cuts to get 20 each don't bother checking likely to be very bad cuts so divided by six in total we get 20 that's the ideal scenario which never ever happens we will never ever get a cut that is fully 20 grams throughout. I mean, that's fine. In real life, there's no way you can do that. But in real life, people also don't just say that, hey, because uh, it's not 20 gram, therefore you get four stars. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just whining. I hope I have time for the corn cobs. Oops, accidentally. Now that's bad. That's gonna be real bad. Uh, sure. No. No, 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 no. Use this one. Twenty grams. Eighteen seems okay, but we're we're gonna just remember it's there. So you see, if I'm gonna struggle like that, we wanna go get the plate, take these up, and maybe even those. Okay, next we wanna check what's in there. If there are any 20 grams that we can use, we see uh, apples in there actually. There's a 21 gram that can be reserved for now. There's an 18 gram, but uh, it's already in there. I'm just gonna forgo it. I don't need these apples, so it's time to clear them. Why not? Okay, now continue. Next set. We got an 18 in here. We got a 19. Good. We got an 18 and a 29. 29. There's a chance we might still get the 20. But don't implicate the nearby ones. Twenty one. Decent enough, yeah? So we're gonna forgo the 18, throw these away, next set, uh, don't bother even, don't bother, look this is a 31 and there's a 30 plus also, we need a 20, so let's have quite a big of a cut over there, 24, too bad. 
quite a big of a cut there. Quite big of a cut, not quite a big of a cut. What am I saying? Ah, <sighs> nothing works. Nothing works. Seventeens are not accepted, but we need to start saving the eighteens now. We gotta start saving the eighteens now. We just need one more 20. Let's just look this way. 21. Okay. Throw this away. Check. You see that? You see that? No perfect. Not even close. How many 20s do we have so far? Probably one. Okay, we have a few here. I think that was when I began to uh, do slightly better. That was when I began to do slightly better. 21s can be thrown. Just pick everything up. Check for 20s. Nothing. Throw. Good. So, with these, we then have to evaluate what is needed. 18. Go. We need only 120 grams, so... One of the 21s, go. There. That's good enough. Pick up everything. Rather pick up them poor though. Seriously. No point uh, risking them falling. So, um, that's that. Now we need uh, bacon. We need corn. We need corn. Let's go get corn. And then after that we need to cut bacon. Oops. Can I? Can I? Fine. Fine. What? Yeah, just do this. Sure. Bring some more with me. I was looking, but maybe not, like, paying too much attention to where my mouse is clicking. Trying to think about what's up next. And then the mouse cursor just went haywire. And of course, it takes up some bread. I don't know if the... Mouse sensitivity difference is intentional or not, but you can tell there's a huge difference between the mouse sensitivity of the career mode and the sandbox mode. Whether it's intentional, I don't know. Well. Regardless. Okay, there. So we want to cut it like this. We want a total of 5 cuts for 6 pieces throughout. I'm holding on to the shift key, okay? But you can see that something is messed up. And I was cutting base on that, so I might have messed up my cuts even more. Thanks to that one that was messed up. So how lucky are we to get 30s? Maybe absolutely unlucky and get none.
Wow. 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 Look. We got none. We got none except for that one. Wow. This is crazy. We actually got none? Okay, my fault though. Seriously, my fault though. I was... I was focusing on... Uh... The part where... Everything went haywire. And then I was focusing on the part that... The... I'm gonna discard all of those. And try again. Do we bother about the other one on the floor? No, we're gonna time travel. Who cares? Get some more corns and we try again. We need to prepare corns for two different dishes. The fried shrimp boil. And also this corn chowder. Right, try again. A bit slanted, so we'll cut it slanted. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I hope that's better, please. Give me more 30s, please. I see one more 30. Okay, you know what? The other dish, the fried shrimp boil, I'll feature the video separately. This is not working. This is for this dish, the fried shrimp boil cutting of corn separately. I'll see you back here for the next step of um, prepping the corn dish. I'm recording again after about two weeks plus and already you can tell that something's not right. Version 2.1.1, you can already tell that uh, food is being scattered everywhere and that's not a good start. What's next? This, they should contain soup, but they're empty. Spin it around. Still there. If you click on the bin, that's it. It's gone. Same for the pans. However, however, okay, let me just show you, all right, okay, so there, if you pour anything, anything at all, doesn't change, still the same amount, but now, if you want to pour, look, there, the pan's empty. Yeah, that's what happened. Now at least I see that when I submit, it's slightly better in terms of... Um, I'm just gonna throw that away because I really don't need that. I'm just gonna buy new pots and new pans and everything for now, for this dish, for the moment. Right, we're supposed to drizzle 15 ml onto this. It says that I've got too much clarified butter when I served and it gave me a 4 star. And heating mistakes on the potato, which I really don't know why. It's a little bit burnt, yes I know, but yeah, heating mistakes. I, I have no idea why. I followed the instructions. Anyways, 15 ml. Okay. And it turns out 16 too bad because it is 15. So we want to drizzle it like this. Basically, most of the things would have gotten there. With only 7ml remaining, most of them will have gotten drizzled already. 
Okay. I guess it should be like 15 divided by 3, each is 5 ml. So for every 150 grams of potato, it should be uh, 2.5 or 300 for 5 ml. So every 60 grams of potato will have 1, one ml of uh, clarified butter. So it should never go beyond 1 ml of clarified butter when we serve the potatoes, alright? Okay. So now... We don't want the clarified butter. Okay, we're gonna leave those there. Alright. Because otherwise it'll be too much clarified butter, I think. I don't know. Or maybe just, uh, just not the potatoes. The potatoes have got six and that's not good. The carrots. The onions have got nothing. Let's pour some. Let's pour about five. Yeah, four is okay. And 3 is okay too. This is 5 ml. Good. And that's empty. So let's uh, pour these again. Once again, just pour everything in here. So the total amount of clarified butter would be probably 13 ml. So that would be okay. Right. We need to fry this one for 30 seconds. Okay. Next. Oh wait, my god. That's not good. It shouldn't cook this fast. There'll be heating mistakes on the potato. It's gonna be burnt. I don't know. I'm lost. Previously it wasn't like that. Now it's like that. Just gonna make sure that I just pour 700 and that's about it. Uh, throw the rest away, I don't even care now. Okay. Okay. Now we wanna pour all of these into here and I suspect that the potatoes are gonna be burnt. Obviously. It's gonna be burnt. Oh my god. I didn't add like salt and thyme and whatnot. <sighs> Thing is, I don't think this is even gonna work. Yeah, what a waste of time. <laughs> thyme, 18. Salt, black pepper, 12, 12. Oops. It's okay. I don't think this will go beyond 4 stars regardless. There'll be heating mistakes on the potatoes, definitely. Twenty seconds. Yeah.
Yep, the potatoes burnt already. Fifteen ml of clarified butter. Ooh, oops, oops, oops. That's that's bad. Just gonna keep on tasting it until it goes back down to fifteen. No worries. Okay, it's already burnt. Too bad. Even though we switched it off immediately. Fifteen ml. Bacon, bacon. Sixty seconds of the bacon. We need another one for sour cream because the sour cream is messed up too. Unfortunately. We need about a uh, 100 ml of sour cream. So let's uh, take the 100 ml. Almost there. Get ready. Switch that off. Corn cob. Pour these in. Good. And uh, boil these for sixty seconds. Bacon forty seconds. discard them. Why would we need those? Now we discard these, they work. Scallops. Three of them. Fifty seconds. Okay. Bacon. Put it in. Forty seconds. Oops. That's it. I have not missed a single step. Two hundred fifty ml of the soup. Two corn, one scallop, one bacon, three potatoes. As long as it's not burnt. Okay, it's not. That's good. It's not burnt, actually. It's good. These are burnt. Look. I am absolutely confident this will not go beyond 4 stars. Okay.
one scallop, two corn, one bacon, three potatoes. <gasps> Ooh, that was close. Two ml of clarified butter on that one. That's not good. We'll pick another one. Okay. That's got no clarified butter. Good. Okay. Wait! Not enough clarified butter. Heating mistakes. Heating mistakes. Five stars. You, you can hear my tone. I wasn't expecting the achievement at all. Given the circumstances that led up to this, I mean, I did follow everything properly. All the instruction steps were there. Um, the frying thing was a little bit iffy at the very beginning because um, my previous recording just a couple minutes before this recording did not have such a loud sound when I was frying the potato, the carrots, the onions and everything. And at least in that attempt, the potatoes were barely burnt. It was that tiny sliver of red, and yet it was a four stars. I'm quite certain I've got the footage. I'm gonna put that footage in here just to show you. That was four stars. But seriously, I mean, I'm glad I got the four stars, but I think if you follow my way of doing it, it's iffy because even I'm not confident you can hear throughout I wasn't confident I was just uh, like you know resigned to fate that this is not gonna give me five stars like it was probably gonna give me four or below all the while and I was just thinking that hey this is gonna be another failed recording I'm gonna try again do something else five stars with the achievement this is all the recording I can get because if it gives me a 5 star, I'll not be able to let the achievement pop up again because it's already there. So this is all the footage I have, including some of the previous failed footages. Like the one right before this, the previous ones that were far, far before the updates like 2 weeks or more ago, forget it. That one, maybe due to the update something has changed, so putting this footage in will not really matter too much. In terms of cutting and preparing, that's pretty much the same. If I see anything different, then I'll re-record some of these cutting, yeah? And try to reproduce the same weight in all these uh, ingredients. But yeah, five stars. I, I don't know, I'm speechless. Um, so I'm looking forward to viewers who are willing to try the exact same steps with the exact same weight in all these ingredients and uh, let me know if you get the 5 stars as well um, I'll see if I can tag on the weightage of each of these ingredients and um, yeah, put this at the end of uh, the video and hopefully hopefully you can refer to that and, and get something out of it I mean honestly though I, I'm speechless like, yeah, I've been speaking and I say I'm speechless, but then again, yeah, how? How is this five stars? How? I don't know. Really don't know. So I hope if you've tried it and you found something different, do let me know. And um, if you also managed to get the five stars, which means I must have done something correct. I don't know, but it doesn't seem like it. With all these complaints, like giving me a three and a half or almost a three... 3.8 or thereabouts, maximum of 4, I wouldn't have expected 5 stars. Not complaining though, I got the achievement. I hope you get that too, if you follow this method. And I hope this is not 
by chance, by luck, and I hope this was really the right way to do it. Well, let me know if you try it. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.